Alright, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I'm going to continue on with part two of what I've been working on here. And I've decided I don't like the way that this looks, so I'm going to remove the menu from the top and put it back in again. And it may actually look better now as a white menu. I know it's kind of tough sometimes when you see that. Alright, it's kind of tough, but I'm going to take a look at it on here and see what it looks like. All right, so you got services about us, etc. So we're right there. Click on here. I can change the background color. You know, I can come in here and do that too. So I don't want that. I don't like the button like that. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to change this stuff in here, or at least attempt to. So the first one would be home. I kind of like the way it looks in caps. You may or may not agree with that. The second one, I'm going to have, say, web. And I should be able to add a couple more in here. I know there's a way to add a menu item in here, so... You may have noticed too that I changed the on here. I changed the opacity. I kind of like the way it looked better like this. Okay. Now let's see. Buttons. Items have color. I don't know. Since I did start here with um, the, the, since the next one down is that kind of light yellow. Okay, now I have to remember how to do this, so let's see. Move left. No, I don't want to do that. Yes, add item, there we go. So I would have um, C sharp. And what I'm wondering is when I did this, come on. I think it's because I hit the enter key here. I think that's what's screwing this all up. But I'm not sure. So let's see. Move left. Okay, so let me come back here. And let me see if I can add an item. And again, this will be C sharp. And then let me see if I can add another item. And that will be ASP.NET. And then let me see if I can add one more item, and that will be Android. So let's see what we've got here. There. I kind of like how that looks. All right. Uh, Again, I don't like this image at all. So, and we can put anything we want here. I could even probably, if I look, I'm going to just quickly look. So I'm going to browse my computer. And either on the E drive or on my desktop, yeah, there's a picture of Luke. I don't know how I got that, but. Let's go to the E drive here. And I'm going to see if I've got a picture of me in there someplace. Try that again. E colon slash. Come on, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. E colon backslash. There we go. Me.jpg. Could have been a ping, too. I don't remember. But I. I'm supposed to put my picture in there. I might as well just stick it up on top there. Menu title. That's not what I want. Darn it. Hmm. 
Well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's take a look. And on the desktop, this may be a mistake, but I'm going to see what I got in here for JPEGs. I knew there'd be a boatload of stuff. I know what I can do. I know exactly what I can do. Go to here. Um, go to here. Not the greatest of pictures, but I think I could use that one. So I'm going to copy that. See if I can copy that over to the desktop. There it is, me.jpg, so that should work. So let's get rid of all that. Well, yeah, I do want that. So I'm going to change that picture, browse my computer. me again if I wanted to I suppose I could make it bigger but that should be okay all right it's starting to come together not fantastically but you can see that it's coming together a little bit so all right so I want to click on this web here and I'm going to want to hyperlink that I want to see if I can get this to work now on the page onto a block on the home page I would think this is going to be content 6.5. Insert link. And if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. So preview it in the browser. There we go. That's where I wanted it to go. All right. All right. So I'm going to come in and put in my second thing in here. I think I'm going to use the BMI program. All right, so um, let's see. I want to come in here, and I kind of like what I did here. I'm not saying it's fantastic, but I kind of like the way that it looked. I may want to check later and see about making it bigger or whatever. I don't know. Let's try one, we'll put that here, and we're moving it to the other side, if you noticed here. All right, so click on here, and I will browse my computer, and there's a BMI. There we go. And I can come in and just, in kind of the same way that I did it before, one thing I'd like to do quickly is to kind of change the, uh, come into my block parameters and change the background color. Let's just try a gray. For now, that'll look, that'll be okay. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do that kind of like I did this one. So, AWD1112. C sharp programming. I guess I made that all caps. C sharp programming BMI GUI application. You can see already that this looks like it's wider than what was here. It's it's just a different thing that was chosen. That's all. All right, and the alignment, yeah, I'll change it over to the left. That looks good. Uh, this is an example of a C-sharp graphical 
user interface, also known, of course, as GUI program created to demonstrate body mass index, AK, oops, AKA BM. BMI. All right. The program asks the user to input a height and a weight, and from there it determines their BMI and their BMI status, which was set up to be underweight, optimal weight, overweight, or obese. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, I don't like the fact that that's so much bigger than this is. And that was the picture that I grabbed for BMI. So I, I can go back if I want to. And I can check in images again. And I can put in another BMI large picture. Could put in something like that. Um, like this. See, I'm, I'm just looking for something that I think looks good, that's all. Before I put in like BMI logo, and that's what I was looking at, so. Let's try that again, BMI. Try logo, I can try chart. There's a lot of stuff that can be tried here. In fact, just to be sure I'm getting the actual BMI, let's try body mass index logo. There we go. See, I picked a smaller image. I should have probably grabbed something bigger. I don't know how this would look, but we can try this. Save image as. And we can call it here since it's a ping, bmi.ping. And then we can come in here to our program and where we clicked on here, and change that image to bmi.ping and see if it looks bigger and it looks nicer. Not really any bigger. All right. I mean, I can leave it like that. It's not, this is not terrible. Okay. But I would like to give it one last try. So let's do that. I know there's a way I, uh, Evan had shown me this. That, let's see. Under images, but there is a way to do this when you do it. I'm going to try and just see if I can get a body mass index 512 by 512 because that should be bigger. color on that. I'm going to use that one regardless. That's fine. All right, so let me go back and change this one last time. I promise. So we'll go on here and one last time we'll change that to the other one. OK, 
Okay, that's a little bit bigger. That doesn't look too bad. All right, so I've got two of my four classes in here. And let's go to C sharp. And let's find in here, hopefully, in C sharp. We want to link again. And we will want it to be on the page, on a block on the page. And this is content seven, seven I think. So let's see now when we go home and we go here. Well, I guess we got to run it. Preview it in the browser. So web should get me there, and it does. And now C sharp. That's kind of hard to tell. I didn't do the home yet, but I will do that in just a second. So let me fix that. Uh, let me try the C sharp. Okay, there's nothing down below it, so there's nothing to really push up. Let's do the home, though, as long as we're doing all this stuff. So, click on home and click on link. Again, page, block on the page, top of page, insert link. All right, try it again. Now let's go down to C sharp. There we go. You should be able to jump up to home, down to web, and you can see that we're making our way through this. We're iterating our way through. All right. So we've got that done. I still need to fix these. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. But I want to add the, oh, one more thing I wanted to add here. When you click on the image here, uh, when you click on the image, not here, of course, when you click on the image right here, Okay. Um, I wanted it to go to. Oh, I gotta see what I where I've got it. So where is my GitHub? All right, BMI console. Oh, I thought I made one for for BMI GUI. So let's do that right now. Make a new repository and we'll call it BMI. Let's see what the project was called. And it was called BMI GUI. I'm going to right mouse click on there and go to Git Bash here and type in Git init. All right, I've now got my empty repository, or I should. There it is. All right. Git status, git add dot, okay, git commit, minus m, this is my initial commit, that's all done, let's jump back over to here, Okay, and we'll jump back to GitHub, and I'm going to call this, again, it's BMI GUI, and it's all caps for whatever reason. I don't like that there. Did I make one? Yeah, BMI GUI, right there, BMI GUI. That's the one that I actually want to use. So I used the wrong one here. Well, let's see where I made the folder. It's right there, so hopefully that's still going to work. In fact, let's see if we can do this. No idea if this will work. I've never tried this before. I am going to drag this over to the desktop. 
copy it there. There it is. And then on the desktop, there it is. Do I still have my git? There that is. So I'm going to try to do a new repository here, keeping this really simple. BMI GUI. All right, I've done all of this stuff that I was supposed to do. Let's do the git remote. And then let's do the push. So desktop. BMI GUI. Got that there. I'm going to do my git bash right here. And finally, let me do my git push. So you can see this. I made it make it very big. Looks like that's working. All right. I want uh, this. I want to save this. You'll see why in a moment. We haven't already figured it out. And let me. And there's that project. All right. So going back again into here. I want to link the image to there. I want to open it in a new window. I want a webmail address, and I want it to go right there. Okay. So if we do try running this again, let's see if we click on that link, if it takes us to uh, So if we click here, is this going to take us to GitHub and our project? Yes, it does. Good. All right. The only other thing I was just thinking of, okay, it's not a big thing, but I just want to show you this. And that is if I go back again, I'm going back to the desktop. And in the desktop, under C Sharp, thought that I had at least a couple of there's the BMI GUI, and there's the BMI console. I don't know what the GUI looked like on here. Would I rather have that one? I can. Let's try and see if that one looks better. It may not. Oops. Yeah, there we go. So we want to change that. Uh, browse my computer. This may be real big. If it is, I'll just get rid of it right away, but be in my GUI. There, does that look better? I don't know. You might make it just make your own decision, say that the first one looked better. Alright, so I could probably make that smaller too. It's everything's fine the way it is. Alright, let's make a third one of these. And let's as we kind of work our way back and forth. Let's make another one here where it's on the right. Okay. And do the same kind of thing in here. Let's come in and change the background color right away. I'm just going to stick with bopping it back and forth between these two. So, all right. And again, this will be AWD1111 dot net framework with web databases um, in this class class we created must be really getting up in time yeah I'll be I'll just do this one and then we'll call this call it a wrap and then uh, I will come back and finish it up. So in this class, we created a database-driven website based 
off of our book. The website is Sports Store, a mythical website for a mythical sporting goods store. The website included an SQL server database. That sounds fun. All right, so I've got these two things. Of course, I don't want to use that picture. I don't know, uh, browse computer. I think under here I may have brought something in. Let's see, Pingo console. Oh, I thought that I did. Let's let's do this. Let's quickly, and I mean quickly, go to Google, look under Google Images, and do ASP.NET database driven website. Kind of like that. Save link or save image as. We'll just call this DD for database driven website. It's on the desktop now. Let's come back to here. Should be here now. Go back to our desktop. There that is. And there that is. Okay, again, these are kind of small here. And this one, I don't really like the way it looks compared to the other ones, but we'll come back and work on that in just a couple of minutes.